Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about how to add text to a flat surface. So before I begin, uh, let me tell you a little bit about my shape here. I've got a 3 inch by 6 inch rectangle and I want to make a name plate for my desk today. Uh, so what I need to do first is select the view or the face on which I'd like my text to be. In this case, I want my text to be on the front face. So I'll select the front, right click on that face, and start a new sketch. Now that I can sketch over top of that face, I need to select the text function. So I'm going to come up to my drawing ribbon, and I have the text function, and within the text function are two different options, regular text and geometry text. Regular text is just going to allow me to do regular old text and straight line. Geometry text is going to allow me to write my text on a curve or an arc. For today, I'm just going to select uh, regular text. Once I'm in the text function, I'm just going to come onto my face and click left, left click once. That's going to open up the format text box. This box is a lot like Microsoft Word in that you can center your objects differently. You have your size over here, um, and you can choose different fonts. Uh, I'll keep the Tomaha font today, and I'm going to make my size half an inch and I would like to, my nameplate to say Mr. Warren and I work at Pine Grove Middle School and I think it looked really cool if I centered all of that so once it's centered and my size is good I'm going to click OK and now I have everything the way I like it so here's my text uh, you notice though that my text is hanging off of my nameplate. So what I need to do first is I'm still in the text function, so I'm going to right click, click OK, and now I can drag this text box in, drag it up a little bit, and start to maneuver it around so it's centered. As you can see, it's not exactly centered, but that's an easy fix using the dimensioning tool. So we're going to go ahead and select dimension and I'm going to dimension this text inside of my box. So I would like my text to be half an inch from the top. I would like it to be half an inch from the side. And I'd like this side also to be half an inch. And then I'd like the bottom portion to be half an inch as well. So now my text is pretty good to go, and I can go ahead, and go ahead and select Finish Sketch. And I am now back in my 3D modeling section. So what I'm going to do here is, with this text, I want to either bump it out or extrude it from the object or engrave it. So I'm going to come up to the Emboss option and in the emboss option it's going to allow me to select the profile it's already selected the profile is going to be my text so I'll go ahead and click my text and I want to engrave it today so this would be to emboss from face or extrude the object so it thrusts outward from the object and an engrave would be to sort of dig into the object I'm going to engrave it one tenth of an inch and select OK once I've done that, you can see that since I'm looking straight on at the object, I can't really see what I've written. But if I start to move that object around, you can see that it has engraved my nameplate, Mr. Warren, Pine Grove Middle School. Okay, so that's what we have for today. Thank you for watching and enjoy.